PK Grill. I've got a prime New York strip. I love New York strip. A little less fat than a ribeye, but just as good. <laughs> Pepper. Hi. There he goes. Make comes barbecue. I've had chicken all week. It's Saturday morning. I'm gonna grill up this USD Prime Black Angus New York strip steak. From Wild Fork. Just under a pound. Twenty dollar steak. Prime. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna do it on the PK Guga style. It's gonna be delicious. Let's cook it. Mekong's Barbecue. Well, unfortunately, I had to do a lot of trimming on this New York strip. A lot of it was super, super hard fat. I had to trim the whole side. The doggies already got a bunch, and I got a bunch left here. Let's start giving them. This is for Lemmy. Lemmy. Pepper. Ow! Pepper. Let me. Let me. Pepper. <laughs> Let me. Pepper. <laughs> Good boys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I was going to do a Guga recipe. But I've done this before. This is going to be... I'm gonna take this steak. I've trimmed it up. It's gonna be good, but I had to trim so much. There's like fat I can nibble on that. I got all the fat, I cleaned it out. I'm gonna put this steak in my bowl. I've done this before. Instead of salting the steak when I cook it, I'm going to marinate it in Campbell's Beef Consomme. This is really good. It's a beef. And I'm going to pour the whole thing in there. It's really thick. I'm going to let this soak in the beef consomme. It's got a lot of sugar. I, it's not sugar. I have salt in it. And um, the steak will get an extra beefy flavor. And then when I grill it, I will use pepper and garlic powder only. So that's what I'm doing. Because it's a little trick. Beef consomme. Google has done this before. I've done it before. It tastes killer. It really gets a nice, juicy, beefy steak flavor. All right. They're happy. <laughs> PK Grill. The mesquite charcoal lit up for my steak. Okay, everybody, I got the steak out, dry off. So 
some of that beef consomme. Get it nice and dry. It's super tender. It's just like super soft. The salt's all in there. The magic plate has got a chip on it from flying around all over. From Tornado Alley, I guess. I gotta send it back to Skagit. At the magic plate. I'm gonna put pepper and garlic powder, and that's it. All right, let's do the, the pepper. Nice. Garlic powder. I'm gonna flip it over. <laughs> Ooh. Pepper. Garlic powder. Okay. I've got my butter to baste it. I'm going to put it on the grill. Rock and roll. I put a pan of butter in the bottom. And some fresh garlic, and a pat of butter on top, and a stainless steel little ramekin. And I'll put that on the grill to melt while I'm cooking the steak. It's gonna be good. Oh yeah. Cold already. And they are hot. Oh. Woo. Oh. Put my grapes. Ouch. I'm gonna use a flat side of a grill grate. I'm gonna let that heat up. I'm not gonna worry about uh, the lines on my steak. I want a full crust on the bottom of the steak. A full crust. That's what most people like. A lot of people say the lines. I'm gonna put a little uh, grapeseed oil, high heat oil for the steak. <laughs> it's gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna close it up and let that grill grate get hot and throw the steak on. Rock and roll. All right, everybody, let's put the steak on. Oh, the butter's boiling. Put the steak. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna do three minutes. Three minutes per side. Usually it's a minute and a half uh, rotate, minute and a half rotate, flip, minute and a half, minute and a half. So now I want a crust on the whole side of the steak for medium rare. So. Three minutes, three minutes. Done. Hopefully it'll work. It's just an experiment. We got two minutes and 30 seconds left. 
gonna be good. Rock and roll. Time's up. Three minutes. More flip. Oh man, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh. A drizzle, a little butter, and close it. Three minutes. Go. Ooh. How'd you like that, everybody? Oh, I can smell. Okay, three minutes. Steak's been on for six minutes. Crust. That's what you want, everybody. I'm going to do a little side. Get some of that fat rendered. I'll be right back. Sweet. Steak freaks. This is a very, very famous recipe in France. Steak and fries. They're called freaks. And there's one uh, restaurant that has no menu. It, they only serve steak and fries. There's no menu. Everybody gets the same thing. You get a bread and butter. Look at this steak, man. I gotta let it rest for 10 minutes. It's gonna be good. Look at that steak. New York strip is really good, man. Now watch the fries. The freaks. Are they crispy? I don't want them totally brown. I want them a little tender. Put them in the basket. <laughs> oh, I got a straggler. Got two stragglers. Fritz. <laughs> Little Lowry's. Right. Play it up. Steak Fritz. Fritz. Got some garlic butter. These fries are killer. Oh. Can't wait to cut that steak open. Wow. Well, let me. You want to fry? What? Steak, garlic butter, 
with the mayonnaise from Japan, QP mayo, to keep in line with the French. The French invented, uh, the Belgians invented French fries and they use mayo. They don't use ketchup. And I've got some horseradish sauce if I need a little bit. Usually not on a steak, but a prime rib. But I'm gonna just try it out. All right, I think it's time for a taste test. It's gonna be delicious. Oh. Uh. You want to let me? All right. I'm gonna eat this steak. Medium rare. Look at that. You want it pink to pink, edge to edge, with no brown right here, and then a nice crispy crust. This is crispy. Look at that. Oh, man. That's a perfect steak. Six minutes. All right. <laughs>
but only on Triple D. And only on Triple D would you come to learn that an Italian restaurant deli would migrate from Toronto to the Italian barbecue. to three different locations here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Please like and subscribe. I haven't had a steak in like two months. I've had a lot of hamburger. Look at that steak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it like, like this. Oh. Meat candy. Mm. Oh. I like that crust. Six-minute steak. Very high temp. Oh, the, the meat just melts. So I'm telling you guys, there's a restaurant in, in Paris and in London. They have one in London. There's no menu. Everybody gets the same thing. It's steak and fries. They put a little sauce on the steak. A cream sauce. The French, Frenchy cream sauce. Um, uh, and, uh, and fries. And that's it. It's like $35 for 40 bucks. And you get two servings. If you finish your fries and your steak, you get one more serving. They'll come back and give you like four more slices of steak and another pile of fries. Really cool, man. If you're ever in London or Paris, go check it out. It's called Steak and Fleets. <laughs> the mayonnaise, the fries. You want me to crank? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. This is like therapy for me. Very One more therapy. bite. Look at that. They're a little tighter, it's quicker, but if I can feel it's like a $60 steak. I'm going to spin these a little bit more than I typically would. So we're all linked up now. It'll hold itself tight. Oh. Sponsored by Kona Brewing. A nice, uh, cold, refreshing drink. Cheers, everyone. Oh, it's perfection. Perfection. Please like and subscribe. We do. He was a baker from back east, best bread in town. So go ahead and put a couple of links on here. Couple? Couple. I don't want anybody leaving here hungry. Let's go. Go ahead and Because barbecue. Fresh made peppers and onions. Thank you all for watching. Have a great weekend. It's Saturday night. Provolone cheese on there, just like that. We'll put a little bit more sauce. I have for pancake of the month. Like your fries? Loyalty members earn bonus pan coins when they try them all. Mm -hmm. That's good. Almond breeze? You love butter fries. Oh, That's so Oh, good. man. That is one good stick. Blue diamond almond breeze. Cheers, everyone. Just milk it. Almond milk it. You do Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm almost done. I am almost done. This is a great steak, man. Holy moly. Crispy. Medium rare. Look at that. Almost done. New York Strip. Make out of the barbecue. Cheers. Cheers.